you have your blender file with all the textures and it works pretty fine then you decide to move the file to another computer but your model is going to look like this as you probably know that's because blender can't find your textures you need to move the textures to the new computer as well and reassign them in blender but blender gives you the ability to pack textures inside the blender file so you don't have to worry about carrying these textures to another computer of course packing does increase the file size of the blender file so it's best to only pack what is essential to the project let's go to shading and let's go closer and for example for this roughness texture as you can see here we have an icon look like a folder that means this texture is not packed for packing all of the resources simply go to file external data and pack resources after hitting this this icon is going to change something look like an archive icon this icon means this texture is packed. There's also another option which is packing automatically. So if you again go to file, external data and hit automatically pack resources and check this. If I add new textures, for example this one. As you can see we have a folder icon which is this texture is not packed. After hitting the save button. So if I hit the Ctrl S, for example, as you can see, this texture, which is a new resource, is going to be packed. If I add another one, for example, this one, and hitting Ctrl S, it's going to be packed again. So you don't need to go to File and hit the Pack Resources again and again. It's going to be packed automatically after you hit the Save button. Also keep in mind that unchecking this option won't unpack anything. It just simply won't pack anything after you hitting the save. Also if you want to pack just one of these textures, for example this roughness, you can copy the name of this texture and let's go to image editor and here you can paste the name here, searching for this and select this one and after you selecting this image you can go to image and just hit pack so let's go back to shading as you can see this texture is packed and other is not also the second way which is easier is selecting this texture and press n on your keyboard to open up the side panel and under the node and under the properties select this icon after a click, as you can see, the texture is packed. Also, you can click on this and remove the pack as well. And the last one, if you have a Blender file with pack resources and you want to unpack them and have them in your computer, simply go to File, External Data, and Unpack Resources. After that, it's going to ask you a bunch of options and if you select the first one, it's going to make a folder right beside your blender file with all the textures. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.